Like it depends. Like in the beginning, you have to do a sacrifice before you actually get anything from it. Like if you want to get good, you have to sacrifice family, friends. It's like in any career, any like sport, you have to sacrifice some bits to excel at others. Very genuine, honest person that yeah tells you the truth. No, I'm single. Obviously, I don't have the time to. It's just uh, it takes a lot of energy to try to like. Yeah, just try, you know. So uh, I just think that I would rather just not than, than take all that energy towards that. Our first match of the day is going to be Fnatic against Navi. I'm a map control player, a support player, and my job is basically not to die. Push comes in now, the smokes are out, Fnatic begin to edge forward. So I survive a long time during rounds. So I just hold places so they don't have the control of that spot. Schneider opens up the fragging, Seas goes down, flashes out, Fnatic are making a clean entry. Five man unanswered. Uh, that's the round conversion for the net. That round is effectively once again worth two oh. rounds for uh, for Fnatic because it's going to force Navi in a save round. The money system favors the winning team, especially on the terrorist side, because the equipment that you need to have a good chance of winning round is a lot cheaper for terrorists than it is for counter terrorists. Seven two to Fnatic. Flash has been picked up, but there it is. Devil Walk avenges and has a bomb to defend. One on one against Starix to be a one shot hit. And that'll finish it off. Devil Walk sees out the round. Go into the half in dominant mood. Finish off the job. And Navi are back in business. And this will put Fnatic two rounds away from victory. Devil Walk's going to poke out and finish off the job. And Fnatic 14, Navi 8. JW and Flusher finish off the round. Nice! Nice! nice. And Fnatic have picked up map number one. They picked up their first game. My big brother and his friends were having like a LAN at home. And I was just like, like a little fanboy of age of like nine, 10, just sitting by a chair, just watching him play like for hours and hours and hours. I remember I stayed up all night just so when they went to bed, I could play for a couple of minutes just because I thought it looked so cool. Yeah, that's basically like the first contact of Counter-Strike I had. He beat me in everything when I was young and he was like older. That's where I got the fighting spirits to get better and better and better. How big do you think it would be like for you and for the team if you were to go all the way to the final? It would be really big, I mean, yeah. uh, I mean, that would be insane. You're probably going to be the best in the world if you win this event. Like, it's basically winning 10 tournaments. There's 14k people here right now, watching games, like just walking around. pre mag is always important. Our livelihood actually depends on playing. You can just smoke everywhere in the room, lightings and a lot of music. We're not really that into like the music, it's just... Oh yeah, it's horrible, style all it's the horrible. Time. It's, like... it's, it's actually like always that kind of music at events. Well, I have no idea, I like to get pumped up for games. But you get, no. you get more tired of it than... Like your brain melts after a while, yeah. just by listening to it. Me personally, I, I would never like bring your own computer from home and sit down for four days, like just playing random games. Gentlemen, welcome back to DreamHack Winter 2013.
we are here live with the game Fnatic versus Recursive. We're out of the group stage, we're at the playoffs in fact, it's a best of three game. Recursive are not that good at playing on the on the on the terrorist side, but they're phenomenal on the counter terrorist side. The bomb is ticking away, they need to go for it quickly and happy still alive, trying to draw at the time he will go down. That was that was cutting it very close from Fnatic. That looked dangerous. Ninth round is now coming up, score is 71. Double Ox gonna line him up, he is just cutting him down, and Fronax gets a piece of the action as well. All of them dead. Perfect round coming out from Fnatic. 10-2. And now we're looking at 12 to 5. Once again, Recursive are closing the gap. 13 to 9 now. That wasn't quite the one round, but it's closer now. AW comes in, gets another, gets Stop another one. one. There's a destruction right onto Recursive. And this is exactly what Fnatic needed. Devil walk with a double. It secures that 15th round for Fnatic. 16-9. Nice. nice. Welcome once again. Second map in the round of eight here between Recursive and Fnatic. That was a misplayed round for Fnatic in very many ways. It's going to be 7-7 seven seven now. It's a two round lead for Recursive. Come in the map, take Recursive. We have a five round lead. This is going to be obviously uh, 14 to 8, but the problem is Fnatic have no money once again. Recursive now on the brink of securing this map and keeping their hopes alive in this tournament. Devilwalk actually goes down and so does Russia. No, Fnatic, what are you doing? Recursive, bring it to 16 13. This is third map, signing map. It's going to decide who moves on to the semis and who goes home at the end. This is a very counter terrorist favorite map, so for recursive to start out getting three rounds like this, it's going to be very good for them. Down to a one on one. There's the final shot from Russia and Slow. Nice. Seals the deal, gets the final kill. And another round for Fnatic. Fnatic will take them apart. Gets that round for his team. This is going to be a slaughter. He's coming up behind them. And he just holds down Mother. <laughs> and sprays the whole team down. There's the triple kill. He finally gets dropped. Nice. That was beautiful. That was awesome. How often do we get to see that? And again, Fnatic locking down another round. Nice. Nice throw, boys. 10-5 to score at the end of the first half. Like it's 10 to 8 now, the 19th round is coming up. It's now an uphill battle for Fnatic. A retake from Recursive. It's going to be 10 to 9 now. Though. 11 to 9 is what we're looking at, and Eco run from Recursive as well, and they are getting caught off guard completely. And it comes down to Schneider again with the final kill, but the GGs are called, and Fnatic will be moving on to the semifinals. Kamsha is so much about the group itself. I think we, we are a team that doesn't really change. We've had the same core players since the start of the year, and that's really, really like unique. People quit, people change lineup because they get in fights, can't resolve their issues, so they just start over. Which is the wrong way to go, I think. Very eager to make sure that the, the social part of this, the team is always top notch. I'm also like the, the shrink of the team. If anyone has like troubles, um, everyone can talk to me um, and I'll try to sort it out. Without him, I think the team wouldn't even have existed by now. Because he, uh, he has fixed so many problems in the team. He's a big part of the team chemistry. Yeah, that's also a thing I really like about like the, f the team, the family, you know. It's the bad parts with the good parts, you know. We can take a lot of bad stuff and make it into good stuff all the time. I, I want to share the emotions and success and, you know, everything with others. Personality-wise, he's very calm, he's very cool. He is a genuine captain, I'd say. Even that he's not leading the team in-game, he's still somewhat of a captain for our team. He has that role, he, he takes what no one else wants to do. He fixes everything. He's, of course, very close to the entire the rest of the four players. Nicest guy I've ever met, probably. There's nothing bad about him. He, 
I think I've never seen him mad, even though he should have been so, so mad at points. Well, it's given me a lot. Like, generally, I'm more happy than I was before when I'm, when I'm doing this. So that's probably like the most important part of it. Like, I, I'm just generally happier. Uh, like, I feel better. So it's hard to explain the value of it. Like, I wouldn't want to quit winning a year. Like, I want to do this as much as possible. Like, this is the time you can do it. And it's great experience. I mean, you travel a lot. You meet a lot of people. It's like playing sports. It's just a fun way to spend your time. And if you can do that with people you like and people you like, cherish, then that's amazing. Oh, this is really tense. But what a retake from Fnatic. It's going to be four and one. Now Flusher is kind of alone. They're running around, they're trying to pit him in here. Flusher doesn't realize, but he will get the kill on Hiko. He keeps spraying wonderful kills. That's a quad from Flusher. And it's going to be five and one. Complex, you have to ask themselves, I mean, they just got hit by a train, basically. I think one of the reasons why I wouldn't have counted Fnatic too highly um, for this tournament is simply the fact that they made the roster change so close to this tournament. But when you switch in a new in-game leader and give a team days to practice, you really can't expect big things. But big things are what we're seeing right now. 14 to 1, Corey. What on earth did we just witness? Teamwork by Fnatic. But right now, Fnatic are dominating. Sixteen to seven. What a display of skill and power right here. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking complexity tournament life on the line here. If they do not win this map, if they get to go home, there is the start that Fnatic needed, but not the one that complexity was looking for. Fnatic are just on the hunt. Yeah, this Fnatic team is ready to play. These players are just playing lights out. Yeah, this is really frightening. It truly is. Everything is going Fnatic's way right now. Devil War comes in with the double kill. Fnatic take the second round. It's now 11 to 6. What a performance from the Swedish team. Fnatic look like a real sort of a real team, a real unit. And they're working together in a, in a wonderful way. What a crushing performance from the Swedish team. 16 to 7. Fnatic are in the grand finals playing NIP right here at DreamHack. If there was ever a way to launch yourself into the grand finals, it's got to be like this. Absolute dominance. They're just in a huddle, completely happy. Well, hi there, Devil Walk. Hi. How are you feeling right now heading into the biggest final of the biggest tournament ever? Uh, it, it feels great. Yeah, it's my biggest achievement in my yeah. career so far. So, I mean, that's amazing. And an all Swedish match. It's just. I don't know, it's not the Swedish NIP, it's just the team to beat. They have the title of the best Counter-Strike team in history. They had the same lineup since the start of GO, like one and a half year. I mean, that's, that's the key, I think. Even though they have their issues and differences, they can resolve it and like learn from it. They went 87-0 in matches on LAN, uh, which is... Pretty impressive. I mean, it's the record, so uh, so they're just legends. I mean, this is a competitive game, and people who are com competitive by nature tend. I mean, you don't want to compete if you feel like you're second best. You, you compete if you think you're the best. Like I want to play to be better. Like you have to have the dedication to actually improve all the time. You can't be satisfied with I don't know second place. You can't be satisfied with third place. Well. I think Devil Org is probably one of the hardest working players in the scene right now. Because everyone is like playing all the time, they want to improve. So you have to have the mindset to play more than them. You probably need to be at at least 80, 90 played hours in two weeks. At least. Yeah, I think he has the mentality to become a top player. If you, if you go out of a tournament, you can't even watch the game. You can't really play. You, you don't talk with your teammates. It's like, you want to win so badly. I'm not with friends, I'm not doing anything else than just sitting home, eating, sleeping, playing, until we do good. That's the like really hard part of being, about being a professional gamer. Uh, it's just a lot of hours. 
Så gör bara det igen, det inte bara i det. Men ni gjorde det bra för ni kör runda för runda. Antek och så var ni jävligt distinkta med att ni inte släppte vapen. Vad gör man ni gjort hela tiden? Ni har ju spelat flåläs mer än vi har tagit in på. Men nu är den största utmaningen att man kör. We are live here in the studio at the DreamHack Steel Series Counter-Strike GO Championship. 25,000 people have been coming through these halls and a lot of them are here to enjoy the biggest tournament in Counter-Strike GO history. Devil Walk, we've heard him on camera a lot. He's a very personable guy, quite a funny guy. He was telling me, listen, I'm very confident. I'm even going to take my trousers off if I win. We also have the biggest match in history of Counter-Strike. Listen, I'm not paid to hype the match up and give you a fake match that's going to be epic. So I'm going to tell you Nip's going to crush this 2-0. I'd be surprised if Fnatic even gets 10 rounds on both of these maps. Yes, we are back here at the Caster's desk. Just want to get into the zone where you can look at the screen and the screen is basically all you can see. Now Devil Walk and JW alone in a 2 on 5 situation. This is not the front Fnatic we're looking for. We want to push through here. Devil Walk just gonna go down. Now we've got a two for seven scoreline. We end the tenth round. It's gonna be twelve to three. NIP were simply the superior team here in the first half. That was expected. Fnatic will get the bomb planted here on top of the A side. The gap is still closing. I mean, Fnatic, even though NIP are close to winning, Fnatic are not out of this game yet. Fnatic are about to be only a four rounds away. Devil Walk takes out with Warren. What was that? That was crazy. Now 10 on 13. Fnatic have been playing very good counter strike in the second half. This is incredible. 13-13. Fnatic have equalized the score against the defending champions here at DreamHack. He gets one, he gets two, fantastic! They win the round! Devil Walk makes it happen! What a round for Fnatic! 16-14, Fnatic take the first map. What an incredible performance from Fnatic. We can we can spell two seven is better. That's what I'm going to do. Let's make a goal. Also, CT was not so good. It was just money. So you had never money. I had never money. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again here. We are at the grand finals, the second map in a best of three. And just a crazy round for NIP. Seven to one. That could be the round that actually makes this map. For NIP. Fnatic was in China, they're not feeling well, whereas Nip intentionally dropped out of that tournament to stay home and practice. 9 to 2 now is the score. It's gonna be 11 to 4, what a round! 15 to 5. 16 to 5, NIP push us on to a third map. Nu ändrar du på steken, nu gör vi en bra första sida. Och det kommer vi göra om vi tänker fler positiva tankar än negativa. Helt ärligt, så enkelt är det. Har ni bra mindset nu så fixar vi det här. Ni måste glömma det två, ni måste glömma Inferno. Det är ju inte att torska vapen, det är inte bra att torska vapen. Så vi kan inte bara stå och vänta på dagen heller, då får vi heller möta dem och torska vapen. Alltså, då får vi bara möta dem som en vapen under ekot. Nej, i närmsta 45 minuter ska det fan vara bra inställning. Tänk på att vi kan äga sig i alla år som tema och stå igång. Så vem måste vi vinna matchen? Det där är andra. Vi slutar ändå. Kom igen, killar. Ready! Nip have basically left themselves with their better map for the last one. You can't win against Nip on train, I'm sorry. Fnatic are reading NIP so well at the moment. Devil Walk takes down the bomb. I just think they actually have a pretty good understanding of how NIP are playing. NIP completely shut down like you said. 7-1 is the scoreline. They bring it home. 10-1 now. Fnatic with a dominating performance here. 12 to 2 is the scoreline. $100,000 on the line here. 14 to 2. Look and at the complete happiness on Fnatic right there. Devon picks up a good kill there on Freiburg. And there it is. Stay with it. They just did it. DreamHack Winter 2013 champions. Complete celebration. What a victory and how they deserve it. And then they destroyed the best team maybe in the history of CSGO on their best map. That's earning it. That's like legendary stuff. These guys earned it.
Thanks, man. Seriously, think I'm gonna shake for like 12 hours straight. I didn't get a grip of we, we winning $50,000. Yeah. And that's not even a title, but with a title, it gets so much bigger. Still unreal. I would tell you.